Okay, it's time for a combination command. And in order to understand the 5 command, you need to be comfortable with both the 3 command and the 8 command first. Because the 5 command is a combination of these two. If you're not familiar with these commands, please watch those episodes first. I'll try to put some links here if I can figure out how to do that. And I'll start by loading a sample. I'll put it in track number 3, it's C2. Let's slide to G1 here. I'll use the 3 command with the parameter A and I'll keep it sliding for a while. Let's listen to this. Yeah, you know how this works. Now, let's say I want to fade this out while sliding down. Let's try with the A command. And I'll put a C00 at the end to make it quiet and I'll fade it slowly with the A01 command. Let's listen. Well, the fade out works, but the 3 command is interrupted by the A command. And this is where we use the 5 command. And this command uses all the same parameters as the A command. So I can just replace the A here with 5s. Listen. Better. And the same thing goes when you want to fade something in while sliding. So I'll silence the first note, then I have to remove the sample number to keep it quiet. It's sliding, but I'll do a slower slide this time, and I'll remove the 501 command, because I want to fade it in this time with the 510 command. Listen. And this is where we can use that little trick I was talking about in episode 4. I can define the value for 3 up here and start fading this in right away on row number 2 like this. So you don't need a note to slide to here, just set the value for 3. And the 5 command will know what value to use when it's fading up. Listen. Now, let's clear this song and I'll show you something different. I'm going to create a melody in this track like this. And I want these notes to slide and unless you have defined the 3 command in this track already in the song, you need to define the 3 command here, 3 O A in this case, and I'll keep it sliding down here. Let's listen. Now, I want to fade this whole sequence out. So I can use my 5 command like this, and I'll fade it out slowly with the 501 command, and let's keep it quiet at the end. And there is one more thing I need to do. I'll have to remove the sample number. Listen. And of course, the same procedure can be used to fade things in. But instead of showing you that, I thought I'd show you a little bug, or as I like to call it, a feature. So I'll clear the song like this. And I'll use our old friends C2 and G1. And I want to slide this with a 3 command, and I'll go with a slow slide with 303 here. And I'm going to silence it at the end like this. Now, 303 is much too slow to reach the G1 note, but that doesn't really matter. Listen. The weird part comes when you define a new note here, with some 3 commands down here. Because these 3 commands should not do anything at all, because we have no new note to go to. But since this slide wasn't completed, it will sound like this. That's really weird. So, this little feature is actually a 3 command bug. But since I discovered it using the 5 command, here we are. And I don't think there is any documentation about this, so I wouldn't recommend using it. But I thought it was important to tell you that ProTracking contains a lot of stuff that work in mysterious ways. The next episode will also be about the combination command. The 6 command combines vibrato and volume slide, so thank you for tracking, please leave me a comment and I'll see you in episode 10.